So ionization energy is the energy required to knock an electron off atom in the gas in space. We can do this more than once with the same atom. So they become successive ionization energies. We can knock off a second electron, a third electron, a fourth electron. And we already know that as you knock the electron off, the electrons that are remaining get pulled in closer toward the nucleus. They're held on more strongly. So the atom gets a smaller radius because the electron is being held on more strongly. So it's going to get harder and harder to pull off electrons. So as we keep pulling off more electrons, our ionization energy keeps increasing. And then we uh, sometimes will hit a jump when we hit a core electron. Um, so this is um, the trend for sulfur. Sulfur has six valence electrons. So we slowly increase our ionization energy for six electrons. The seventh one drops tremendously. And uh, this is uh, looking at uh, the third period of the elements. As we go across, all these big peaks are removing a core electron. So after we removed all the valence electrons, uh, the core electrons get knocked up higher. So a core electron is corresponding to a noble gas. So for aluminum, aluminum being column 13 here, we have three valence electrons. So this third box going across, um, and when we count valence electrons, uh, if we're down lower, we're not going to count these uh, D electrons, but we're not going to be asking things that can go into the Ds. Um, so um, when we hit knock off a core electron, it jumps up tremendously. So we have two trends to look for, just the general trend that increases as we take off more electrons. And then when we hit a core electron, we look out for that. So for our largest uh, second ionization energy, yeah, I don't have a, a one just based on the first trend. So potassium beryllium, our second ionization energy. Uh, potassium has uh, one valence electron. It's column one has one valence electron. So the second one is going to be a core electron. Beryllium in column two has two valence electrons. So they're going to be, no, still both relatively easy. But the potassium being a core electron, that will be the larger because that's a core electron on that second one. So that largest energy here, we have different elements, all removing the second electron. So we don't have trends for like all second ionization energies. So we look for that core electron. So we have gallium, it has our it has three events electrons along with the field D level. Um, calcium has two valence electrons. So that's going to be removing a core electron. Uh, germanium has four valence electrons. Uh, so it knocks off the first two, that's not too hard. The calcium is the one, it's taking off a core electron. So that will be our largest ionization energy. And if we're just looking at successive ones here, you know, the highest one beats out. Um, whether it's a core or not, it still beats out the lower ones. Um, 